was locked. Oh. Oh, you didn't try it. Yeah, no, apparently I was just stupid. Okay. We used to keep here some textbooks. And the music box? Well, we took the music box, okay. Okay, let's steal from nuns. I have received your letter and will try to write you more frequently. I hope you are studying a lot and feeling comfortable there. I miss you a lot. When are you coming back? Father's in bed with fever and I do not feel very well, but I am on medication. Today is my birthday and I'm feeling blue. It is a quiet and boring Sunday in the village. Mama's going to cook us lemon cake like those Grandma used to make. I wish we could eat it together. Write back soon. I'm looking forward to knowing how you are doing and what you are learning. How is Scotland and so on? A big hug. I think about you a lot, your dear sister. He said there's a stone statue in the medical bay. Try the ornament on it. Okay. I will do that. Father Ernest seems unusually troubled. He was very irritable. Collins made a comment and was expelled from class for it. And even Devitt was admonished for Oh, wait. Devitt's me. Yeah, Devitt's these are, you. These are notes from these back in our days? These are old notes. He's admonished just for reading a philosophy book. I hope Father Ernest doesn't turn his ire towards me. My father will be disappointed if I fail to get good marks. It was very disconcerting to see Father Ernest entering class so pale and sweaty. In the middle of his lecture, he stumbled, dazed, and had to sit. Father Eugene taught our theology class today, and even though he doesn't know the subject matter as well as Father Ernest, when we asked him what happened, Father Eugene told us that he had taken ill. What worries me is that now Father Eugene is also starting to look unwell. It's been a month since we last saw Father Ernest. We are told that he is still sick, but if he's so ill, then why hasn't a physician come to treat him? My studies are flagging, but I haven't taken it upon myself to read on my own. I hope this helps, as I must succeed in so Well, it's announced that the school is to close. None of us know why, and we cannot get a straight answer from the faculty. They each dodged the question. I'm starting to think they might not know the answer themselves. Explore the occult. I just got an achievement. Their anxieties. Did you hear that? Yeah, there was a weird noise. Well, they try to hide it behind a calm face. What about Father Ernest? I hear he alone is to remain. Oh. There's a picture. That one's scratched out. Who is that? Uh... I do not remember the names of the others. One face has been completely scratched out. Okay. Odd. In death there's hope. In death there is life. One must seek its true nature to understand the nothing. Looks like it's been there for years and the chalk has faded in some places. Okay. Is that all there is here? <laughs> hmm. Jump scare? No. Okay, Can well that was that interesting. Candle? Uh, no, it doesn't look like. I'm at the bottom of the room, but that's right. Oh, wait. Hold on. Mirror, or not mirror. You don't it want to destroy want to it. Destroy the statue. Stone ornaments. He Maybe said, um, if that doesn't work, try getting the nun away from it. But I don't know. If you don't want to destroy the statue, I'm not sure if that'll help. I cannot be here. But if we distract her, maybe we can actually talk to that patient, too. Yeah, well, I need to find a distraction. Distraction! <laughs> okay. Just throw the net over her head. <laughs> it would distract her. I mean, yeah. All right, so I need to do something. The music box. Who could use a music box? That uh, old lady who's depressed. Oh, right. Let's try that. Music box. Nope. No? Can I... Can I help you? Ah. So what am I missing? I don't know. There's gotta be something. If she says anything else. Okay, do you take care of patients? You tend to both the physical and spiritual needs. It says there has to be something with the coffin, but maybe that's for later. Yeah, it specifically said the coffin was, like, locked. Is that the word it used? Yeah, and haphazardly, coffin, yeah. haphazardly made, so that's mysterious. Still priest and professor before he came, Monsen Monsignor. He left the strict instructions not to be disturbed. Okay, he's the guy who was whipping himself, right? He instructed me to take him on as caretaker. 
He finds it a bit strange, but he performs his work well and complains little. Uh, the patient's been dying. Well, that didn't help us at all. Yeah, it was the opposite of helpful. There's a postcard in the mailbox. Are you serious? Since several m m months and I still haven't heard from you, my brother insists that you have abandoned me, but I'm sure you remain true. I know that you would never do that to me, for I know your heart and honest. Oh, this is the guy who's upset with his obsessed with his fiance. Uh -huh. That bitch. His sister is. Okay. Well, I found a thing. Good. Let's go tell him that his sister's a douchebag. Postcard to you. I think this letter is addressed to you. Oh, thank you. Leave it with me if you'd be so kind. <gasps> that bitch! Oh. oh, it's a letter from our mother. I hope you're recovering. I wish that your beloved sister and you could come back home soon. I'm gonna call her out on this. Oh, they're just telling me that she's making that. Mirror, right? Yeah. No? What? Okay. I'm giving him the letters. My letters! All the letters I wrote to dear Juliet. You never post them, but why, Mary? Why would you do such a thing? How could you be so cruel? Oh, that bitch. You refuse to see how inappropriate she is for you. You're only interested in marrying someone of your status. It's for your sake I did this and to protect you from that woman's treachery. Oh, that's cruel. Leave me be. From this day forth, you are no sister of mine. I will leave you and you will see how very alone you are. Thanks to the Lord that you've come to reveal my sister's cruelty, sir. Please take this coin as a token of my appreciation. It's a lucky coin. Well, you know, <laughs> that's not that helpful, but thank you, guy. Can we use the coin to get the thing out of the grate, maybe, somehow? It's like on a chain, it looks like. Yeah, I can try. I feel like the coin might be a beacon of hope, too. Oh, I know what we need to do next. Hold on just a second. Oof. Let's see. Chris says try the coin on the box. Oh. Hey! Look at you, man. Now play it for the sad boy, man. Oh. Oh, what a beautiful melody. It reminds me of my youth, when I was vibrant and full of purpose. I knew my path then. Oh, may God bless you, for you have given me the sign I was looking for. That's all it took. Wow, someone was... Oh. Haha, <laughs> they are blocking the water stream. Okay. Quick, put the net down. I could cut myself on the edge of the... Seriously, guy? I blunted the sharp edges of the pipe. Now I need not fear getting cut. That was... A thing. This net should catch anything going down the pipe. Cool. Give me that morphine. <laughs> oh no! Your Chat's gone! <laughs> what the hell? I don't know what happened. It just went dark. Well, nobody loves me anymore. The pipe probably goes to the chair. Yeah, 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 no, I, I, I think we're on the. So now we can same. wash the thing down the shower drain and then catch it in the net. Bloop! Sweet. Let's go find it. Probably a key or something. 
You know, this has been more puzzle and less horror. I don't mind. I just, it's been like, Kind yeah, of, the first kind episode of, was kind of more scary. This is like, like a little bit creepy, but not necessarily scary, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm cool with it. A different, different type of thing, but... The shiny object. Well, then pick it up, guy! What is it? Teardrop. What? A it's glass a glass tear. tear. Probably belonging to a piece of jewelry. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I don't really know what good that does us. Yeah, I don't know either. Like the, the 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 windows make it seem a lot darker than it actually is. Can I wait? Can I use this to cut? The tear doesn't work to cut the tapestry. Okay, well, that's cool. You could just pick it up and move it out of the way, you know. It's not like bolted to the wall. I don't assume. Wait, wait. Am I supposed to make? Mother Mary, or uh, the Virgin Mary cry? Is she sleeping still? She was staring off into a... S oh no, she's sleeping, All right? You mean make the statue cry? I wonder if... Chris says, is there some jewelry in that one nun's room? I don't think there was any jewelry in there. Oh, uh, they, they mentioned a, ro a rosary bead, but... making her cry. Ah ha ha! Seems as if it fits perfectly. Now she'll be distracted by a miracle. I told you you cannot be here. But don't worry about it. Alright, right, right. Um. Only I could make it shine. Right. <laughs> the our mother is crying. Oh my lord, what does this mean? What have I done? What have we done? <laughs> I'm a this poor dick. Nun in an existential crisis. <laughs> I am a dick. 